Robin Williams made us laugh. He entertained us. He was there for us when others weren't. He played characters, many of which we could relate to. Lover boys here. What a beautiful little car for Don Juan. So sad when that happens. Robin Williams started his career as a stand-up comedian at the Comedy Store in Los Angeles. His first real break was on Mork and Mindy. After, he starred in a string of hits including Popeye, Good Morning Vietnam, Dead Poet Society, Mrs. Doubtfire, Good Will Hunting, and many more. Good morning, Vietnam! Over the years, Robin developed an addiction to drugs and alcohol and severely struggled with depression. Starting in October of 2013, Robin began to experience some physical ailments including stomach pain, indigestion, trouble seeing, difficulty sleeping, and tremors in his left arm. His voice had diminished and his posture was stooped. His final years were filled with taking on mediocre projects to keep the cash flowing. He had two ex-wives to support and a current spouse. He started work on a show called The Crazy Ones, which gave him a sense of purpose, and he eventually said that working on a TV show was kind of like going to work every day, going to a factory, punching in and punching out, and it was good for him and he enjoyed it. The Crazy Ones was canceled after just one season. After that, Robin went to Vancouver to begin shooting the third Night at the Museum movie. After filming Wrapped, Robin Williams went home to Tiburon, California. In May of 2014, Williams was diagnosed with Parkinson's. His autopsy eventually showed that he had Lewy body dementia. Over the next few months, Robin struggled to sleep, and he saw a therapist, worked out with a personal trainer, and rode his bike. People who knew Robin said that he was living in a trance-like state and staring off often. Just a couple days before his death, Robin was seen attending an art show. This is the final photo taken of him. On August 10th, Robin was home with his wife Susan when he started to fixate on his collection of wristwatches. He put them all in a sock and drove them to a friend's house just a few miles away. Robin came home and said goodnight to his wife at about 10.30 p.m. and grabbed his iPad and returned to his room. When Susan woke up the next morning, she noticed Robin's door was still closed, but felt relieved that he was finally getting some well-needed rest. She left the house to run some errands. About a half hour later, his personal assistant, Rebecca Spencer, came over and was concerned that he had not come out of his room yet, she slid a note under his door, and after no reply, Rebecca used a paper clip to open the lock and found Robin suspended with a belt. He had already passed away. This is CNN Breaking News. So, um, I hate to have to report this. The breaking news just into CNN is that actor Robin Williams is dead at the age of 63 from an apparent suicide. This is from Williams' representative who released a statement just a moment ago saying, quote, Robin Williams passed away this morning. He had, had been battling severe depression of late. This is a tragic and sudden loss. The family respectful, respectfully asks for their privacy and they grieve during this very difficult time. Within hours, memorials were popping up and fans were mourning everywhere, including the famous Mrs. Doubtfire house. The following day, Robin was cremated and his ashes were scattered in the San Francisco Bay.